Yeah, this belt only lasted a few days. Darn it. And my pants are falling down again. I'm going to put another hole in it. I think I could put one further up. I gotta get another belt. Well, that, um, I put another hole in the belt, and that should work for today, so. Um, anyway, um, it's Monday, April 16th, 2012. Um, I want to work on cleaning the parts for the blazer. Uh, my insurance is temporarily non existent. So I can't be riding around with that on the truck anyway. Uh, the garages are probably double locked at this point, except for the processing garage. So I'm going to work around the house uh, trying to um, trying to seal the top of that truck. I'm missing some panels, so I only do so much on that. I don't know. I may. I hate to start on it because I gotta use it to run the um, parts back to the uh, blazer. And maybe I'll work on that pickup truck. I hate putting that together when I gotta take it right apart again to uh, do the throw up bearing. But maybe I'll do that. Well, I gotta dig around down here try to find a. Um tape measure. Alright, what I need to do is raise this uh, roof on the front here approximately the width of a 2x4 sideways. I'll just build a 2x4 box and then uh, move this this one uh, thing. That'll, that'll be pretty unobtrusive. That'll be good. I think that's what I'm going to do. I dug out George's saw. My saw was just set up for um, metal cut. My piece of junk, black saw. Um, anyway, I'm gonna, I have to make a uh, 77 by 48 box for the top of the, on the OD, on the, um, for the top of that box truck to raise the roof a little bit. There should be enough 2x4s. I didn't want to do it with wood. But I obviously can't afford to do it with aluminum, and I can't afford the time to wait for that. We don't have enough uh, plywood. I need, I'm need. i going to need a 48 by 77 piece of plywood as well. So I have to get a piece of plywood at some point, but I can at least get this show on the road and uh, get started with the... Um, with the... Uh, back part of the room. Okay, I found two 77 pieces. One's womanized, the other one's not. They don't have to be womanized because they're going to be buried in the fiberglass. Hmm. Here we got three and a half minus half a sixteenth. Uh, yeah, it's minus a sixteenth, sixteenth off. That's all right. You won't ever see it. It's gonna be buried in fiberglass. Yeah, I can't find any. I need two more pieces, 45 inches. Subtract an inch and a half for the thickness on each side. I'm also gonna have to cut it out of this form wood. This should be all right. I'll cut two 45 inch pieces out of this. All right, now to cut these suckers. I have to measure the. I'm gonna measure in after I cut this. Normally, I'd really care if it was cut on a knot, but in this case, I don't really care because everything's getting encased. I'll have to dig up my hammer and get all the nails and crap out of that one after the fact. Hey, here's a thought. Maybe I'll just shorten this uh, shelving unit so that it'll fit over the top of that. Uh, on the top of that work table, then I can use it after all. That's a good idea. I'll have to get some nails first to do it. Alright, 277 inch pieces, 245 inch pieces. Enough to make a 48 by 77 box. Uh, what I'll do is I'll put a temporary 
piece of scrap wood, I'll get it square and put scrap wood on it to keep it square until I can get the plywood on later. That way it can move right along to the fiberglass and uh, component of this. That hurt. I smashed my thumb and cracked my nail right in half. Yeah, I took a short, a short break. That's the worst thumb smash I think I've ever had. Split the nail right in, right in half. That's why I'm so fanatic about safety. You never know. I don't have a first aid kit or anything because I don't have any money. <laughs> I don't even have band-aids. Anyway, um, I'm going to take a little break and then go back on to nailing that. I'm gonna, George took off to go get his wife some food. So I'm going to... I guess he's walking to the store. I'm going to... Um, I can start with one... Um, um, styrofoam thing. Weird, it didn't even fall over and it's windy out. Oh, a little blood won't hurt it, I guess. Damn. That's what I get for using used now. Okay, it's complete. It's kind of lame, but it should work. I'm going to square it diagonally and uh, put a, some on it to keep it from twisting. Okay, that's looking good. That'll keep it square. I'm going to just place it on top of the truck. See how it looks. Then I'll commence to... Uh, Fiberglass. Okay, this is pretty much how it's going to sit. The back part will just be regular fiberglass roof. This will have some plywood on it. <clears throat> and later I'll put a uh, ledge going over the top of this for a, like a deck or something. That'll give it a little more clearance in the front here so I can put a uh, And, uh, and put it on top of this. Yeah, that won't be bad. That'll give me something to uh, attach to on the bottom. I'll be able to slide that uh, that other uh, louver piece you've seen in the other garages over it. I'm going to put a deck on top of this for a generator and a water pump. That will all be enclosed, and then I'll put a deck on top of the entire uh, thing later out of a some kind of aluminum or titanium or something. That'll be good. Yeah, you can see in here where it's going to raise the uh, front body height by like three and a half inches. Awesome. Not real sure how I'm going to keep this from blowing away once I put it up there before I can get the fiberglass on. I need some kind of sandbags or something. The other ones he has is half inch, this is three quarter inch. I'd hope he had two of the same size, but he doesn't. So I'm going to have to get another three quarter inch. Um, one of these, or two actually, because i got to fill in the other parts. I could actually cut up half inch ones for the other parts. Since this one loses, it's going to only have half inch R value anyway, since it loses some with the fiberglass sinking in. And so let's see if what I can make some sandbags out of. I'll hold that thing up there. I stripped the uh, plastic off of the printed side of this. So, I should be able to get a good bond with the fiberglass. They'll sink into this. I'll leave the plastic on the bottom for now on this bottom part. I don't really know how I'm going to finish off the inside or if I am. Uh, <laughs> it's so windy, I don't know how I'm going to do this without it blowing away. Well, apparently somebody in Yahoo put these struts on crooked. I can't square this up. 
everything looks pretty lined up at this point. And maybe I could push that over a little to the left. Other than that, it looks pretty good. What I'm going to do is seal this up to the halfway across over there and there. Throw a couple patches on to seal this thing on. Eventually, it's going to be bolted on anyway, but I'm going to glue it on with fiberglass right now. Yeah, this will give an idea what the inside's going to look like. I don't know why that's still got a big air gap there. I'm going to have to put more weight on it, I guess. Yeah, I think I need a couple more bricks. This brick's working okay, but... Yeah, I guess that's about as good as it's going to get. Still see some air, but... I don't think I can get it out. It'll come out anyway. Once this is all coated with fiberglass, you won't even see that. I'll probably seal this anyway. If I can find out what kind of sealant doesn't uh, melt. Styrene. Alright, I'm going to do the left side, and tomorrow I'll do the right side. Yeah, I'll just do a little at a time to begin with because I'm just going to, my whole objective is just to tack it up. Well, at the start, looks like I am getting air bubbles though, which I didn't want to get. I don't know why that is. I'm going to get air bubbles there and suck right in here. I don't know. I have to drill holes in the air bubbles and backfill them full of uh, fiberglass. Overall, it's coming out pretty good. It's kind of like building a little beehive here. <laughs> I had to go upstairs and wash my hands four times. promising. Once it's got this base on here and I get all the air holes back filled on the base then I'll just uh, lay big patches on. I'll get a gallon of this crap and just put on a roller or something to fill all these holes. Just keep sanding it smooth. It'll look pretty good at the end. And this I got a patch in too. I'm going to put some kind of a angle iron on the front just to secure the front of that. And I guess I'll have to modify the, uh, the other piece that's in the uh, storage unit. I'm going to have to modify it anyway because I don't think a generator in the water. Yeah, I don't know why, but there's a good amount of air bubbles under a lot of this. There's a huge air bubble. Doesn't make any sense. And it worked on the experiment. It worked over here too. Actually, some parts worked and some parts bubbled up. Very odd. Very odd. Kind of looks weird with all that crap on the roof. I need a one by one angle iron for the front to bolt that on. Preferably aluminum angle iron. Well, I'm wrapping up today. Today was kind of um, weird. I just mostly worked on um, online job apps uh, and that truck project. The reason I want to get that truck going, um, I'm going to use that truck and the trailer for dead storage. Um, there's, uh, it'll save me probably a storage unit, at least a small one. Um, 
I'm trying to get to the point to where I can live to fight another day economically. <laughs> anyway, um, I'll probably continue somewhat on that truck tomorrow. Enough to get it sealed. Um, having some problem with the vehicle insurance right now. So I'm kind of um, in a quandary with that temporarily. But, um, and the garages are probably double locked except for the processing garage. Um, I may walk, after I get this um, roof sealed up and I use up all my, all my um, fiberglass that I found, um, I'll probably start walking up to the uh, storage units and uh, trying to clear out the processing unit enough to, so I can move the Jeep into it. Anyway, you all have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow.